Why are Las Vegas locals and tourists obsessed with this sandwich? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are gonna find out exactly why Las Vegas locals are obsessed with this sandwich shop and why tourists Ooh. are obsessed with this other sandwich shop down the road. Yep. And we are joined hey. by this guy. Let's see why they're obsessed. DVW. What's up, DVW? Capriotti's has been around for a while. They have multiple locations around Nevada. We're gonna try their most popular sandwich shop and see how it is. Let's do it. All right, man, this is award-winning, bro. Award-winning, let's award try it out. Just like DVW. Woo! At the gym, award-winning. Right here. Capriati's is open Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m., Friday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 3 a.m., Sunday, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. Wow, they're open pretty late. Let's go outside. So here's the menu, and they highlight the most popular sandwiches in red. So the classic cheesesteak is one, the American Wagyu, Slaw B. Joe, the Bobby, the Capistrami, and the classic Italian. It's holiday time, so I'm gonna try the Bobby out. Right now, that for a limited time only, they have the golden cheesesteak. Maybe you'll try that out too. We'll see what's up. Capriati's has been around Las Vegas since 1976. Every time I ask the locals what their favorite sandwich shop is, they always say Capriati's. First time for everything. I know they have Capriati's is over at T-Mobile Arena and I think they have it at Legion too. I just haven't tried it. So there's a first time for everything. Also, they give you a size chart about how big their sandwiches are. You get a half, a small, medium, or large, which is 18 inches. And that is their notorious size. And if you're throwing a big party and you want some catering done, they have small trays for $79.37 and large trays for $99.69. All right, DVW, it's holiday season, bro. And holiday I love season. myself some holiday sandwiches. And the Bobby, it just brings the holiday spirit to you. It's got turkey, it's got stuffing, cranberry, mayo, and you can get it cold or get it hot. I love the, the holiday sandwich over at Earl of Sandwich. I haven't tried this before. This is their medium size. Look how much we get, dude. Oh, this is a pretty good value. It's funny because, you know, some people say after Thanksgiving, they take the leftovers and they make it into a sandwich, the stuffing, cranberry, turkey, but they basically got the leftover Thanksgiving turkey fresh to go for us. Looks like they're not stingy at all too, and this is gonna get messy, bro. All right. This is gonna get messy. Cheers. All right, first bite, brother. Mm. Oh, I love the cranberry mix with the sliced up turkey. Mm. It's really good, huh? Yeah, you taste the cranberry right away. It's nice and sweet, jam, like consistency. Bread is super soft. I like soft bread. Some people like, like, bun me is crispy, crunchy. I really like my bread soft, so. Ooh, it's just a very spongy bite. It's good. Mm. Mm. Ooh, it's a good sandwich. I'm not even a huge sandwich fan either, but this is hard. The turkey is not too dry. You know, turkey could be dry, but some, yeah. Is this good. getting you in the holiday spirit? It is. Bring me back to Thanksgiving. <laughs> My favorite part about the sandwich is definitely cranberry sauce. Yeah, cranberry sauce is money. And I'm not a big sweet and savory person, but for some reason when it comes to like a holiday sandwich like this, I like having cranberry in it. Ooh, yeah. And the stuffing here is pretty tasty. Good seasoning. That bread though. Yeah. Right. Most important part of the sandwich, right? The bread. I could definitely see why locals love Capriati. That is really good. Mm. This is so good. I might even get another one. What do you think? You know? Oh, you got you got some cranberry on yeah, your Yeah, I know. Bro. So much cranberry sauce on here. Like Jay said, they're not <laughs> stingy with their... Not stingy at all. With their stuffing. This uh, sandwich is packed to the brim. Mmm. Mmm. Capriati is kind of off strip. They do have a few locations. So make sure you just check it out on Google Maps. If you're at a Golden Knights game, you can pick it up there. Maybe even a Raider game. Check out Capriati's. But if you want to go here, right across the street from Virgin Hotels, this is the place to try it all out. Bobby, thumbs up for sure. What do you think, man? It's good, man. I feel like you get your whole Thanksgiving feast wrapped between this bread right here. Ooh. You know what would go great with this? Pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, good call. Maybe we have to get some pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie and ice cream, bro. <laughs> All right, DVW. So another thing that is very popular here at Capriati's is their cheesesteak sandwiches. We got the golden cheesesteak right here for a limited time only, but they got a bunch of other cheesesteak on, on the menu too. The golden sauce consists of honey mustard, right? Yep, honey mustard, cheese. Guess why it's golden, because Old. <laughs> and we got some uh, hot peppers in here, some cheese, um, onions, some amazing looking cheesesteak. And we only got the small and it still looks like a lot, man. Yeah, look at this. And like we said, the bread looks amazing. So, uh, no, let's just bite it. Bite it. All right. Cheers. 
spice to it too bro wow yeah i taste some spice in the jalapenos but that one bite with the, all the cheese and the soft bean and the soft bread Ooh, that's a wonderful bite it mixes well with this bread huh yeah wow i'm not trying to dog on jersey mike's but i like this better than jersey mike yeah it's really good Oh yeah, definitely has a kick to it. So Capriati's was actually voted the greatest sandwich in America. Really? You believe that? And they have it all over the wrappings and all over their advertisements. So greatest sandwich in America, pretty damn good. Pretty darn close. It's, it's definitely one of the best. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite sandwiches. Like I said, I don't eat much sandwiches, but this is a very delicious sandwich. And like Dan said, this is a limited time offer for the golden cheesesteak, but they have like three or four different cheesesteaks. They also said that the uh, chicken chipotle is something that locals like to order here. So if you like chicken chipotle, go check that out. Cheers. On to the next one. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, verdict. Do you see why locals are obsessed with Capriati's? Yes, I definitely do. Sandwich was bussin', cheesy, hot, fresh. The bun, the sandwich itself was really soft and spongy. I'll give it a DVW score. Nine out of ten. Man, it's pretty darn good, man. Like I love Earl's sandwich, which we're going to next, because that's what tourists love. But this one, man, it's banging, and I can see why they did vote it one of the best sandwiches and greatest sandwiches in America. Agreed. Now, which sandwich did you like? Did you like the golden cheesesteak or did you like the holiday turkey, Bobby? The holiday turkey, because that one was unique. I've never had a sandwich like that with all the Thanksgiving feast goodness in there. That one was amazing. That was great. I would say it's a tie, but if I were to choose one, I would go with the golden cheesesteak, the honey mustard and smoked hickory mix with the cheesesteak and cheese and the hot peppers. Fire, baby. Flames. All right, man, let's head over to the strip and check out what tourists are obsessed with. All right, let's do it. All right, JK Shooters, we are at our next spot. Earl of Sandwich here at the Palms, but there is a location that we always go to over at Miracle Mile Shops right by Planet Hollywood. Parking was kind of far and we're time crunching it, so we went to the one here at Palms. If you join the Earl Rewards Club card on your birthday month, you get a free brownie. They send you coupons and you can get a $6 sandwich. So, me and DVW are gonna try it out. Earl is my favorite sandwich spot. The first time I discovered it was back when I was a Disney College program intern over in Disney. I was a cast member and they had it at their downtown Disney and I fell in love with it ever since. I know they originated, I believe, in Boston. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they originated in Boston. And then and eventually they came to Disneyland in Anaheim and then they opened locations here in Vegas and in San Diego. They have one in Harris and in downtown San Diego. This is what the tourists like going to. This is my favorite late night snack when I'm on the Las Vegas Strip. So let's go inside, try out a few sandwiches. So you said you've had an uh, early sandwich how many times? I've had it only once in downtown Disney, but I honestly don't remember how it tastes. So this will probably be like my first time again. So I'm gonna give you guys a taste test compared to Capriati's. The story of the first sandwich is from the UK, from a place called Sandwich. And they started in 1762 is when the first sandwich was ever made in the United Kingdom. Hold and on. That's the little story. The city is called Sandwich? Yeah. Did they create the sandwich? They created the sandwich, bro. No way. Oh, yeah. history lesson here. Crazy, that's right? Crazy. We got two things. This is the chicken chipotle right here. Let's see. Let's unwrap this. It's like a gift. Kind of <laughs> looks like a burrito from like Chipotle. Ooh, it's cutting out for us. Look at that. Oh, I can oh. smell that chicken chipotle. For their classic sandwiches, like the original, they have a sticker which will mark it as the original. But when they have their special sandwiches, like the chicken chipotle, they'll just have a normal Earl sticker there. But I used to save those stickers back in the day because I used to not be able to access Earl that much. What I really like about the original here, it's, it's roast beef with cheddar cheese and horseradish. Dude, the horseradish is banging. And you guys know I'm all about that hot sauce. They have hot sauce packets. And I asked for extra hot sauce packets so I can put them in my bag and use them whenever I need to. Hey, so, the Filipino way. Hey, that's the <laughs> Filipino way. That's the Jaycation way, baby. Hey, when we're at Capriati's, Jay asked for hot sauce for a sandwich and didn't have it. I thought that was kind of weird, but you know what? I'll try it for him. Haven't really tried hot sauce with sandwiches. And the guy was like, 
Hot sauce. <laughs> All right, Comment down below if you guys think that's weird or not. So just like Beyonce said, I got that hot sauce on that bag swag. Yes, on your birthday month, if you sign up for the Earl's Rewards Club, you get a free brownie. You just gotta redeem your coupon. And then in the month of December, they send a $6 coupon. You got yours for six bucks? Yeah, I did. I used Jay's coupon. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got in there, dude? So this is the chicken chipotle sandwich. Chicken, chipotle sauce, some bacon, avocado, lettuce, and the bread. Some Thank cheese you. too, I think. Earl yeah. is all in the bread, and I'm putting some hot sauce on here because I already know I'm a spicy guy. So cheers. Cheers. That horseradish is smacking. Ooh. I like that chipotle sauce. It's kind of sweet. Kind of like a, tastes very similar to like that filet, like aioli sauce. Ooh, it's good. The chicken's really tender. This bread though is not like copriati. It's really? crunchy. It's like yeah, has a nice crunchy. toast on it. Almost muffin-like. Crunchy but still soft in the middle. And this one has fresh ingredients. Has the avocados, lettuce, and a crunch from that bacon. It's almost got like the texture of a uh, English muffin. Yeah, yeah. But it's not an English muffin. muffin. I really like the original because of the roast beef and the horseradish. I wish they could put more horseradish, but you know, you gotta stick that Tabasco on there. I'm good to go. Um, you gonna try Jay it? convinced me. Let me see what all the hype's about. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on here for Jay. Oh, look at that Tabasco sauce. Ah. Too much? It's interesting. <laughs> this Tabasco is kind of like watery, so kind of tastes like an like an extra sauce on there. Hot sauce, <laughs> extra sauce. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I think I'll eat my sandwiches without hot sauce. <laughs> DVW is not a hot sauce guy like Jay Kishin is. It's Ooh. all good though. It's all about that spice. Different strokes, different folks. Add that spice to your life. <laughs> Other sandwiches I like here, I usually go with the tuna. Sometimes I like the Italian. Sometimes I get the chicken chipotle. But the Caribbean jerk chicken sandwich is a limited time offer sandwich. Whenever they have that offer, I always try to get that. And their holiday turkey's money, but we already had the Capriotti was one. Yeah, the, the Bobby. Bobby. The Bobby. Yeah, I'm all about that. Bobby Brown, baby. The Brody. <laughs> the Brody. I have, uh, yeah, the, all the ingredients in here are very fresh. I think that's like the main thing from this sandwich. Like, the chicken, the avocados, and uh, the bread is nice and toasty. And if I wasn't so full, I would have gotten myself some soup here. Their broccoli cheddar is a really good soup, and they also have clam chowder. I usually go with that broccoli cheddar soup to go along with my sandwich, but I'm filling up with all these uh, carbs and meats here. My birthday was earlier in the week. Like I said, they give you that free brownie on your birthday, so you want to oh, get that little piece Thanks, right there. Bro. Happy birthday brownie right here. This is Jay's birthday cake. Let's sing happy birthday to him. Triple chocolate brownie, bro. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. That hits, right? Imagine having this after a long night at the club, like Marquee. Oh, it's a good brownie. Crunchy from the little brownie bits, the chocolate. And it's really soft and moist from the cake. They used to have a really great assortment of frozen baked goods. They used to have like a brownie ice cream sandwich, but they discontinued it. They used to have it over at the Planet Hollywood Roller Sandwich, but this is pretty darn good, man. Not flame. This flames. This is good fire. This, this is gas in the words of brocation. <laughs> All right, Dan, I'm gonna get your two cents outside. All right, let's yeah. go. Just finished at Earl of Sandwich. Solid sandwich. I would definitely say that I enjoyed Capriati's a little bit more. Just the bun was very soft, spongy. Just tastes like a really unique sandwich with all that turkey feast in there. This one was solid as well. I'd give this one an 8 out of 10. I'd give Capriati a 9 out of 10. This one is a great sandwich as well, fresh ingredients, but man, that Capriati's one was hidden. I could definitely see why people are obsessed with that one. But yeah, there's a lot of these locations on the strip, so it's very convenient. Like Jay said, it's open very late, so after the club, just walk around the strip, you can always grab a consistent good sandwich to fill you up on your Vegas adventures. Yeah, after I go to Marquee, I used to just cross the bridge over to Planet Hollywood and get myself some Earl's sandwich. And it's a really great go-to sandwich, and if you have the Earl's Club Rewards card, you get the $6 deal, you get your birthday brownie. I liked it, but honestly, yeah, Capriati's takes the cake today. We both smoked both sandwiches, so yeah. they're gone. They're yeah. gone. And here we're still kind of full, but yeah. we have uh, leftovers for later today. Facts. And uh, yeah, after Jay tears up the marquee dance floor, he tears up the brownie <laughs> and uh, the sandwiches at Earl. Yeah, and after uh, DVW tears up the ghost bar dance floor, he goes down here to Earl. Facts. <laughs> Anyways, guys, check out Dan vs. World. We have a few collabs coming up here on his channel and on my channel as well. Please like this video 
video. Capriotis, you definitely take the cake, but Earl's sandwich, you have my heart. All right, bro. All right, Jaycation fam. If you guys enjoyed this video with Dan vs. World, check this collab we did last year with Asian food around Las Vegas. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And in words of Jaycation, stay traveling, Las Vegas. Let's go! Oh.